Kida Fire Escape The first multi-story buildings were being built at the time the world's first fire escape ladder was patented on April 8, 1766 in the United States. Without ladders, it is extremely impossible to rescue people from a burning building. A fire escape ladder can now be purchased by anyone. This option, for instance, is offered in nights of 13 or 25 feet. When folded, they weigh only 7.7 pounds, are small, and have a carrying capacity of 1,000 pounds. The remedy is perfect for structures with two or three stories. However, the maker warns us that as it's a single-use ladder, it must be thrown away after usage. The cost is between $50 and $70. Airplane Rescue Module Concept Statistics show that approximately 75% of airplane accidents are the result of human mistakes. And if we are unable to further mitigate this problem, we should consider completely rethinking how aircrafts are built. Such a strategy is already seen on screen. They also advise enabling the emergency separation of the passenger cabin from the rest of the aircraft and to use new materials like Kevlar, carbon composites to softly drop utilizing parachutes. Tickets would only cost 15% more, and the distance to the plane would only slightly increase. According to the survey, even if the cost of the ticket increased, 95% of passengers would still purchase one. Engstrom Escape Chutes Imagine the following scenario. A very large mining excavator catches fire. Some of the models have a cap that is 33 feet or higher in height. How can its crew be rescued? Well, ladders are available, but they might cause burns or poisoning from combustion byproducts. Therefore, chutes like these are helpful. The solution safety over using ladders is one of its key benefits. The material is flame resistant, can support up to 661 pounds, and there is no chance of dropping. The guy on the ladder is still only halfway down. However, the one who chose the chute is already on the ground, showing how much quicker it is. The chutes also require little upkeep. Customers who have used them for more than 10 years still exist. They are also adaptable and appropriate for buildings and structures in addition to machinery. Escape Rescue Evacuation System the rapid and safe evacuation revolution will be next on the screen. At least, that is what its developers are certain of and they have good reason to be pleased, since several nations like Israel and South Korea are already using the system. What about this system is so groundbreaking then? First of all, it is the only option available anywhere in the world that allows for the quick transit of rescuers to the top floors and enables the evacuation of persons at any age and condition. Second. Getting ready for operation takes two to four minutes. Thirdly, because each work cycle saves dozens of lives, it's ideal for mass evacuations. Additionally, the system as a whole is energy independent, and the cabins shield passengers from fire and smoke. Auto Live Airbags. The micro-mobility market is expanding quickly. Its volume will reach $200 to $300 billion in the US and $100 to $150 billion in Europe by 2030. Particularly, well-liked scooters are electric ones. Numerous experts have predicted that they will capture 70 to 80% of the market. But there is a catch. It's risky to ride an electric scooter, and the specialists of the Swedish-American corporation offer these airbags to lessen the chance of injuries in accidents. Two airbags are available from the company, one of which can be mounted on a scooter, motorcycle, or other comparable devices, and the other is currently mounted on a car. Although the project is still in its testing phase, the outlook is favorable. The airbag will be the sole available choice if it is put into production. Additionally, the company's engineers clearly know what they're doing, given that it supplies airbags to top automakers. Grantham McVent 
The following item is a US patented fireman solution that works to fast cool the room and expel smoke. Even current firefighters protective gear, according to the makers, only affords them a few seconds in the event of a flashover. The on-screen system functions in two different ways. It attracts hot air and smoke, which aids in dousing the flames. The lack of financing for his local fire station inspired the designer, a firefighter himself, to take action. According to the website, the major objective of this tool is to save a life. While the first version weighed 82 pounds, the second version weighed only 47 pounds. The team is currently looking for funding to work on a second version, but progress has already been made. Hydronolix Mob Emily in the US, there is active development of rescue equipment. Here in 2019, water mishaps are prevalent. In one instance, the US Coast Guard saved 46 fishermen from an ice flow by using technology like this remote controlled life raft. It has excellent specs. It can run for 18 minutes at full throttle, reach speeds of up to 18 miles per hour, and weighs only 38 pounds. Throwing the raft off piers and ships is safe. Kevlar is used to reinforce a composite hull. The LED headlights, brilliant body, and navigation lights enhance visibility in all lighting conditions. Furthermore, the manufacturer is a pioneer in the development of robotic water rescue systems. Keylight E-Turtle According to studies, motorcycle riders are 13 times more likely to sustain injuries and collisions than drivers. Biker attention should thus be focused on this life vest in addition to the airbag that was already demonstrated today. The multi-sensor system, according to the vest's manufacturer, is what makes it so effective. The motorcycle's fork is equipped with a separate sensor. The solution is fully automated, and Turtle technology will offer the best possible protection for delicate organs. The vest may also be worn over any type of apparel because of how little it is. Both mechanical and electronic versions are available, and either way, it has the largest market volume, 1037 to 1709 cubic inches. Naturally, they can be reused as well. You only need to change the CO2 cartridge. Lifecraft Rescue Tip Board We are in the Netherlands, where a local business created this remedy for ice and water rescue missions. Innovation of this nature is crucial, since due to rising sea levels, Amsterdam may be indudiated by 2030. Two components make up the solution, a raft boat and a towing apparatus. The boat's distinctive form makes loading victims simple and rapid, and it can be inflated in 30 seconds. The towing unit has a top speed of 12.4 miles per hour. Rescuers are meant to run the tug while the other pulls the victims out in pairs. The final combination, according to the designers, is a cheap and useful solution that can be used all year long and is not ineffective, according to specialists. This construction won the Dutch Design Prize. Life Drone the next idea is a concept from South Korea, but it's still quite intriguing. In front of you is an amphibious drone that conceals a life raft. The drone approaches a person who is drowning, lands in the water, activates the raft, and tows the victim to the rescue vessel or to the beach. According to certain media, the project is quite likely to succeed given that there are now commercially available amphibious drones and that regrettably, floods frequently occur in many nations. For instance, many floods severely damaged Germany in 2021 while 32 French regions were placed on orange alert. Similar ideas could one day save a lot more lives. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell buttons.